Hey, Dave Licalio with Head Games Builderworks, and we're going to talk about RB26 Shimless Bucket Conversion. Check it out. The RB26 has been, uh, at least for us, has been an Achilles heel for many years that we would spit shims out. It's a problem. I know it's not prone to just head games. And the problem is that they have a little shim that goes in the retainer and it's supposed to stay there. But when you have valve float, it doesn't stay there no more. Let me show you. This is a factory RB26 retainer. And as you can see, it has a little uh, indentation there. And that's because on the stock RB26 bucket, it has this shim and the shim basically would go on top of here. Let me show you. So we go inside of here and the valve would go through it. Now here is the problem is if you go in the valve float, it comes out. Valve float can be described as the valve just not being in control and it bounces off the valve seat. But now we're not in control. We're not in time. And so the bucket doesn't sit on top of it. It doesn't have the right lash because now everything's out of control. Everything's out of time and the cam is striking the bucket instead of rolling on the bucket. As an example, all RB26 valve trains that are available to the, from the aftermarket all have the same provision for the shim. And actually, Supertech has two different designs. So they have one that fits the factory shim like we have here, and they have a smaller one that puts it with their bucket and their shim, which is say, a little smaller and easier to get the shims. And that is one of the reasons why I used to always do their stuff because uh, I liked being able to easily get shims. The problem is whenever we have a moving part that is able to come out, it's gonna find the path of least resistance and it, it'll happen. So failures happen and a lot of times they were catastrophic. We needed to find a solution and we did. So we had GSE Power Division make us a spring kit. Now this is the conical that they use in the 2J. We did all three of their springs that they use for the 2J. So we have a low pressure, a high pressure, and then an extreme pressure spring. And they made us these locators. And we used the 2J retainer. Um, so then we had a spring kit that would fit. And if you see what's missing here, there's no provision for the puck, because we switched it over to the 2JZ bucket. That's right, all we did was make this RB26 more like a 2JZ. So now you have a shimless bucket, a true shimless bucket, and it goes on top, like obviously in the head, and there is no more issues with pucks coming out and becoming a problem. But that's when we found Another problem, another kink in the uh, solution here is that when you use a Toyota bucket and you get your stem height correct, you're going to have a problem if you use a lot of lift and RB26s, everybody takes it out of the base circle. So you see the lobe is shaped like an egg. So it's from this side to this side. This is called the base circle. And a lot of times they will take material out of here. A cam manufacturer will take material out of the base circle and increase the lift. And that's all fine and dandy, but if you're taking material on this side, now you have a bucket problem where you can't get a bucket big enough to get you lash. So you can solve that problem uh, two different ways. Either A, you can get a custom valve made or, um, you know, because the tip would really just need to be longer. So what we're talking about here is this side of the valve. This end here would have to be longer to make up the difference in the material that's lost from the base circle. So a long-term solution uh, would be that GSC is actually coming out with valves that are going to be longer on the tip and you don't have to get anything custom. They're just not available just yet, but they will be. And the other solution that is uh, readily available is the Kelford bucket. Now the Kelford bucket is DLC coated. They come in a variety of different sizes. Now they don't come in a huge variety, but you can uh, go on their website and they have a tech form and they say, well, if your base circle is this, you need this bucket, which is very helpful. But they got rid of the shim and now the shim is a shimless and you don't have to worry about it coming out and it's DLC coded. So it's a really nice piece. 
that you'll never have to replace. So we love the conical spring. The conical spring offers control, it offers weight savings, and it comes in three different varieties. So depending on how much power you're making, you can uh, just use one spring and you don't have to worry about uh, trying to fit a dual in something that came with a single. Um, so GSC originally made these springs for head games, but now they're gonna be readily available for everybody. We've been using them for three years and they've proven themselves to be the most reliable, best spring on the market, in my opinion. Now, I know I'm saying that in a biased way, but I've tried them all, I've installed them all, and I've seen them come back. And we haven't had any comeback since we switched to this spring and this uh, bucket situation. So um, I feel because of that, that they're the most reliable since there's no comebacks. Also, because I've installed them all, I can honestly tell you that there has been a math problem. This is not one manufacturer, this is many manufacturers, that there has been a math problem when you install the stuff, it doesn't install at the correct height. Either there was a coil bind issue that you, ha you had to take care of, or there was not enough spring pressure or it wasn't setting up in, at the correct height where you had to actually shim it to get it the correct height. If I was gonna take one of the two, I would take the one I have to shim versus the coil bind. That's a whole nother story. I'm not here to crap on anybody. I'm just saying that now we have something that bolts in, we don't have to worry about it, and it's reliable, and you get rid of the shim. Now available, check it out on their website, check it out on headgamesmotorworks.com. You can purchase either one, you can email us, and I can direct you into which one you want for your particular application. All right, that's it for me today. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Toodles.